and if you cut myself too. So we are talking about it indulging. So things like uh, you would you would love to have something. That's right. Mm-hmm. For example, like uh, you indulge yourself with some of the ice cream. When you uh, have some desire for something you like, so probably it those things like that is also like desire. So depend on which way you would like to go into because indulging it can be very broad thing. In spirituality, indulging. Uh, you indulge of your master. That's some kind of like you wish to achieve something. Your master uh, has been right at the, at the time that you, you think. Because probably you don't even know your master achieved. You don't know. You don't know. But probably he better than you. Mm. Right? <laughs> and he teaches you something and you're going to follow. But uh, that thing is uh, is very subtle way. This you desire. If let me let me say like this. Uh, let's speak in the Buddhism way about the desire. The Buddhism teach you to remove the desire. So you don't have desire, then you don't have suffering. Uh, because when you don't desire anything, you don't expect anything. And uh, of course, if you, because you don't expect anything. So if you, the, your, your expectation is not met, You wouldn't be suffer because you don't desire anything. But if you desire something, possible like you indulge yourself with the ice cream, back to ice cream, and then you don't find the ice cream. Your desire, you not stop because it's not satisfied, right? And then you get fed up. You get. You know, very upset about it, and probably even if you get ice cream, uh, it's not good. It's up to your standard. For example, like I like Hagen that ice cream, and when I like to have ice cream, I indulge to my ecstasy, a thing like that. But if you give me raw ice cream, I would be happy with that. You see, because it's not it meet my expectation. And then I'm suffer. Right? I'm suffer because my expectation is not met. You see? Because in the basic, very basic uh, of spiritual practices, uh, the less expect you have the less suffer you will be that's right so now you are learning to remove all desire but there's something to desire for example like desire to advance desire to uh, learn desire to get enlightened all kind of that or to desire but it's too good good desire at the moment you too have to it's not because you have not achieved any kind of enlightenment yet you have not realized yourself yet so desire is the vehicle to bring you to the objective. So, everything has to be experienced. 
I'm not teaching Buddhism. I'm not teaching Christian. I'm not teaching any kind of religion. I'm teaching you spiritual. It is that different. So spirituality is the final stage. But to reach the final stage, you have to control things. So that's why I'm asking you to learn about Christian thing, learn about Buddhism, learn about Muslim, learn about other religion as you can. So it doesn't mean that you have to take them as a member. I ask you to learn to read about the journey to the east because I would like you to have some kind of vision. There God's mind. There are successful people in spirituality. And some people achieve supernatural ability. Why you need to the east? Because it was written by several scholars from UK. So it's sound more reasonable to you as a scholar too because you have a bachelor degree i would consider you a scholar you are not uh, you know just a high school education just lower so you have a good education probably you need to follow some kind of science i don't go with super dishes thing at the moment so probably let like, you read that. So I suggest you read that because you get you no know, that oh they're the facts. The world rail you a secret. So that's why you will have a desire to learn. You know that yourself is still very raw. Right? Your spiritual it is it, too raw. You are not alone. Science, not everything. But science is a part to lead you to correct the right way faster uh, at this level. So uh, that thing, so that's why you desire. You indulge, you can indulge anything. So I guess my question is: is the um the cause of suffering is not desire itself, but a discriminating mind. Is the discriminating mind what causes you to suffer? When you see that this is beautiful or bad. No, it's not the desire yes. itself, it's what you perceive no, as... No, desire good. is the cause of it. The desire is still the cause it's of it. Cause the cause desire the cause of it. Because without the desire... So, so how, do you, how do you want? You, you want it. And then you want something, right? And then, because your mind is discriminated, because you experience, okay. Okay. your experience will tell you, and then you want, you have some kind of expectation, mm. and then the expectation will bring you to suffer or bring you dissatisfied, mm. Mm. right? At this level, I, I would encourage you to do everything you want, because Because you need to get to experience the satisfaction. If you don't, you don't feel satisfied enough. You will not stop. In Buddhism, the same thing when they, when the Buddha teach people. Because you you are not a monk, you you are not uphold some kind of strict. Uh, yeah. Yeah, click through and, and your way apply and things like that. Because 
if you become a monk, I would say it's a fast way to strain your ethical standard of your mind. You will uphold a lot of ethics, very good ethic, human ethic, mm -hmm. common sense ethic, you know. But uh, as a lay people in the world, we do have our ethical standards. But it's a bit lack in the this, this standard itself. In religion, the ethical standard is higher. And it's more compassion, it's love. It's not really a, a rule, a law. Because the, the act itself already ethic, right? Mm -hmm. So desire, like you said, that yes, desire is the cause of suffering. Will. You will suffer, but you have to contribute. You have to contribute. But that doesn't mean that you, you will desire everything. Because the more you desire, the more it not meet your expectation, you will be suffer. Mm -hmm. And if you desire for unreasonable things, uh, you will meet the more unreasonable happiness, the bigger is. So, uh, and then the, I don't know, depend on your wisdom. I, I, I mean here is something for you to desire, for example, like uh, knowledge is a good thing. Even though knowledge will be forever, you will never achieve the higher of knowledge. Keep on growing. Yes. Because knowledge, we see that our world <clears throat> has been thousands of years and the knowledge is experienced by how many million people and how many billion people in this world. You are only one. You can't. You can't get it all. But you can desire for some of the standards general knowledge so you know that would help you to um, progress faster for example like in the western world we have the bachelor master and phd that help you to have a better view of the world but it doesn't mean that you go in spirituality if you're going to start to do that you're going to be a, a knowledge worm. Yeah. And your spirituality is nothing. Just use it as a vessel, you know, as a vessel. It's a vessel to go, to take you to the other side. And experience it. It does something, and if you don't meet it, the expectation you will face the suffer and then take the suffer as the experience and then stop it mm -hmm. doesn't mean that desire more no you have to get suffer that experience but doesn't mean everything you should do it there's something you shouldn't there should be something possible like to go to school to study because you you don't want to experience everything because probably you won't be able to experience the thing the knowledge in it by yourself so that's why you need to go to school so you need to jump in knowledge right mm -hmm. so uh, that's a fast track but a lot of other things you shouldn't experience yourself but something some very basic you need to experience. But uh, without desire, without indulge something, you won't do it. I guess the last question according to it is, is if we no longer have desire, 
then it means we won't suffer anymore. Are we not just like a piece of rock, a piece of wood that doesn't do anything to sit there because we have no desire, so we don't even want to eat or want to drink water or, you know, Water that's water. absolutely wrong. Yes, so so what? That's one of the misconceptions. So what no, is, what is because this is you to now at the moment mm -hmm. for you to because your spirituality is so low at mm -hmm. the moment. Mm -hmm. Probably, when people hear that oh my spiritually low, mm -hmm. they would reject it. Mm -hmm. One you reject it, it means that is low already, mm -hmm. right? You have to accept it. You don't know anything yet. So that's why we are teaching you to remove the desire, things that you practice, and to be compassionate, not because to remove the ignorance, remove the self center, remove the, uh, the selfishness. And then when you don't have desire, but uh, you start to desire something else, you desire to help other people. So that I, I told you there's some good design and bad design. But at uh so the, the way it, with the, without a desire, there's no state of without desire. Okay. There's no state of because it's a human physical human. You still have the desire of drinking, desire of food. Mm. That is the nature. You never can stop it. But uh, you have different kind of uh you satisfy it. Personal, like when you eat, you enjoy when you achieve some of the higher state or spirituality, then you eat at the beauty of nature. And then uh, when you drink, I have a cup of coffee, right there. When you drink, you understand what you are drinking. You can smell the tea, wet form, or what it's made. Of course. Discrimination do you have there? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I still love the German tea. I don't drink any kind of tea. That discrimination, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That the reference. It's not really discriminate. Mm -hmm. But everything still there. That everything we do in the wisdom. We do everything in we know what we are doing. So there's two different it's a beautiful types. thing, yes. So you think there's two different types of desire. One desire for someone who's ignorant, mm -hmm. and then one who desires someone who has wisdom. Yes. The desire of someone who has wisdom, they can see the beauty in what they desire. Yes. As someone who's ignorant, they can, they're just like lost in the world. They're just yes. being pulled by... Exactly, yeah. Okay. Well, so that, that is exactly the thing. Huh? Everything is just like a hand. It's just to the side. Like a coin. That's it. They are uh, they because we we don't understand this, so we think this one is different. We think, but it's our hand. The only thing we need to know what we are doing. That is awakened. So in Buddhism, they talk about awakened. Awakened. It means we know what we are doing, and then we have a different view of the world. We think everything beautiful. First of all, like for um, desire for food, eating. That is the normal thing we have to eat. No matter. If you want to exist in the form of physical human being, you have to. We have to. That's the normal thing. But I ask you to read more about the. Uh, how to call that one? A noble truth. The path, uh, eight noble, eight fourth path, a fourth path yeah. of the Buddhism, because they're talking about a lot of ethical standards. For example, they also something about not killing, but we have not talked about that. For example, like eating. Uh, later on, I would tell you about eating if we eat meat or we eat vegetarian, no matter. But we need to have a mind, a mindful about eating. We consume. Consume the product is different than killing a product, killing something for our meat. That's a different. But part I would like to tell you different terms. A lot of things we you need to understand. So that is the basic thing of the knowledge. Yes. Ah, we reach me to the next question. 
So what's the difference between understanding a truth and just memorizing it? For instance, I can go home and memorize everything you tell me today, but it's not, I don't really, it's not mine yet. So what's the difference between you just listening to a lecture and then you really, truly understanding and becoming a lecture? Of course, understanding. I, uh, I tell you when I was little, very unfortunate for me that I don't have good memory at all. Mm -hmm. I have bad memory. <laughs> I would say that if you have good memory, it's a, it's a gift from, uh, in Christian they say from God. <laughs> uh, probably it's a gift from nature, like our cosmic parent. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, because I have bad memory, so ask me to memorize things, Today, forget. <laughs> I will forget tomorrow, right? <laughs> right. So memorizing is a good thing too, it's not bad. Every day, because sometimes a lot of things, people never have not, uh, not never, but, but a lot of things that uh, people have not experienced themselves. Uh, for example, like, uh, think about karma. That uh, if we do bad things to our parents, right? So a lot of people they don't have parents, or a lot of people they never do bad thing to parents, but they are still praying every day, every day, every day to remind them, right? And so memory is good, but it just the outside. The thing here, you have to remember, understand it. Everything you understand, it stay inside there. Because the thing you, when you understand, it will create permanent memory. When you memorize things, it creates temporary memories. And temporary memories can be erased later. It can be lost. It can be lost. But when you understand, it creates the permanent memory. So one, the permanent memory, it will stay there forever. And spirituality later on, we are talking about the flow. This flow is sacred flow in cell, yourself. It will be able to encode your knowledge, your experience inside it. And you give it light to life. So that's why we develop. It will modify it encodes our human brain has the capability to encode the experience record it bad and good and even you do bad things it will record it and we encode it in that thing. so that's why we talk about karma why who who who, who judges nobody judges and why we meet the karma because we record it and we judge ourselves and, and, and in the cosmos give us the fair judge. Absolutely perfect. So we cannot lie anything. So that's why the understand and experience. When you understand it and then you need to experience it too. Not only understand it. Understand it is just that way. Superficial, very surface. Yes, it's just a surface. You have to, after to understand when you go to school, you understand the problem, the situation, the problem, and then it's good. But you need to experience it later when you go out. So it's like reading a book about food and the action of yeah. eat the food to understand yes. what food is like. Yeah, so that's why not understanding helps you a lot. What you should do, what you shouldn't do. Helps point you in a direction. Yeah, yeah, right direction too. So understanding is a very good way. You have to understand, of course, because understanding will lead to to love. Because without understanding, it's difficult to love. When we are practicing comp compassion and love, compassion and love, with that understanding, it lies. Only when you understand, for example, let me give you an example of understanding. Uh, for example, like 
you go out you see a lot now uh, you go on like uh, or maybe facebook uh, you will see a lot of example like the misunderstanding right and then you know a lot of love in there just it's very simple like that uh, first you go out and then the, uh, let me say like uh, some 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 people uh, trying to help you something but uh, you didn't understand that right and then you suspect that they are harming you and then you react badly to them and you excuse them something but actually they are trying to help you I see. Right? Yes. So that's it. And then you don't have love for them because you don't understand. Where they're coming from there. They're yeah, it's because, because missing that. But another way, for example, like uh, uh, a lot of things like um, parents. Parents, they understand their kids so much. So that's why they love them. Why well, they love them, right? And uh, you see that a lot of things that we, are, we always say about love, love, love. Actually, if we don't understand them, we can love them. For example, a kid, uh, you know that a kid, they, if you don't have understand them, if they are hungry, what they do? Oh, the kid, they cry. They cry. And then if you don't understand them, you say, stop it. Did you love them? Yes, you love them. And you beat them up because you think it's a noise. But you don't understand. They are hungry. Ah, so I guess my next question is, is the level of understanding based on your meditate, meditation skills? The higher your meditation skills, the more you can understand somebody. It's, uh, the, the meditation is, is also is about your, I would say, it, yes, meditate because the meditation will help to calm your mind. So when you have a calm mind, oh. you look everything it never in detail before you judge something. Okay. You have to judge something. But if your mind, like I, I, I told you before, our mind is a monkey mind. Mm -hmm. If you are living in a monkey mind, mm -hmm. and then you will have to judge things very quickly. So later on, you will learn about also culture. For example, like uh, people think American is very Russian. When American want to do something, they need you to answer, answer, answer. For now, for now. But some other, they don't. For example, like Japanese culture, when they deal with the business, they are not going to sign the paper with you today. They sign with you the next day or the next day or a few days later. They need time to learn because the Japanese they living in a community with the group making decision. So they need time to think through and they keep that. Depend on different kind of culture in that too. But uh, talking about the meditation is all about individual. And it also is good because when you meditate, sometimes you don't understand it. You need time and then because now you only learn meditation to you practice meditation to calm your mind. You have not been able to uh, calm your mind yet. Because later on, you need to meditate and think something, and you, you you think through it during your meditation. You concentrate at the point. For example, like today, what like. I give you a topic. I teach you something and then I ask you to go back. You meditate and then through meditation, you keep your mind calm and you think that through and through. You see it through and through and through. Uh, so that's why I would like, I ask you to finish the uh, um, a journey to the east. And then you have to continue what another one? Uh, yeah, that the uh, Dun Shu Mei Chang is the uh, the English word's name. Uh, old, old path white cloud. Yeah, white cloud something like that. Because uh, uh, that one will help you to have another viewpoint. For example, in that uh, teaching, one time the Buddha asked Ananda uh, about 
they so the like, I said a cup. Mm. The the China cup, right? Mm. Okay, ceramic. So what do you see in here? A tea. Tea. What do you see more? It's half filled. Half filled. What do you see more? It's partly empty. It's not empty. It's half empty. It's half empty. Yes. And that's what I told you before. Mm. I'm teaching you about because nothing is empty, right? Mm -hmm. This empty of the, the, the tea because I drank it half. But the half out there is not empty. It's filled with other things. The air. Yeah. But what do you see more in the cup? Mm. If you go back to meditation, you, you meditate, you look at the cup deeper, you see the root of it. You see the color is white. And probably you will see it's made from the soil. It's, and then you will see all the process in your mind, it process because with your knowledge, you understand how, how the product make. It will make from the soil so that you will see the root of it. It comes from where? And they take it, right? And they filter the soil, they make it, and they will make the shape, and then do the shape. And then they add something, color, thing, they make everything, and then they put the fire. So you will see the soil, you will see the fire in it. You start to see the beauty of the cup. Yeah, the, the cup is the last thing, the beauty, because you see that the useful of it. Mm. But not only the cup useful, the cup is so smooth, the cup is beautiful, because this will come from all the human uh, experience. Mm. Right? A lot of time and skill things like that. So you see, we see like that. So that's why I would teach you another part. Uh, because now at the moment you only learn to eliminate. You have not even learned eliminate the thoughts in your uh, in your uh, meditation yet. You just try to uh, calm down and then concentrate. So that is, you see that that is very basic. Mm -hmm. But later on you have to go into more and you have to go through. After you learn all kind of meditation, you have to learn through more than this. You have to see it through and through like that in your mind. Yes. You, you, you talked briefly about um, spirituality and science. Um, if spirituality is the ultimate, let's say. Is there a really need for science anyway? If, we, if everyone just focus on spirituality? Is there a need for technology? Is there a need for uh, for advancement in technology? If everyone can just focus on their spirituality, what is the point of science at that point? Spirituality and science, um, they are hand in hand, actually. If you don't have the science knowledge, then everything for you is super natural superstitious because the problem you know super uh, nature when you see it uh, when, when, uh, let, let me add, say you something like supernatural ability mm -hmm. if you have the knowledge of science you would think it's uh, at the supernatural ability but if you don't have a knowledge of science then superstitious so probably science is only because what is science? Science the facts. And spirituality also the fact, but it's the unknown facts. Because it's too high there. Ours science have not been able to prove it yet. So that's why it's all about the individual achievement. Practices. Science won't be able to give you those experience, the enlightenment, but they are the vessel for you to go faster when you do things. For example, when you sitting around, there will be noises, TV, and things like that, right? And you can turn it off. You can look for a quiet room. It doesn't mean that you have to uh, go to um, the forest to do it. You know, seeking is the endless road you never end. 
The only thing you end is the victim. So with the science, you will understand a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And from that, you can explain a lot of things in different. So because there's, you can see that science can give you a lot of comfortable, right? a lot of comforts, like cars, wood cars, airplanes. You can fly one place to another. It's so fast. And uh, a lot of comfort, AC, things like that. Right. Uh, so and spirituality and happiness is different. The unconditional happiness. So then when you look at people, when you when you after meditation and then you feel life more beautiful, and then even when you realize yourself, you will see the beauty inside. You see the anger, the emotion in yourself is so beautiful. It's no longer a strict, no longer uh, something you know like. Um, anger or hateful thing like that is really dangerous but when you achieve you realize yourself you merge with when you are able to merge with the flow you have you achieve the higher level of spirituality you see those things are normal thing is building you need to have it if you don't have it you are this ability Yes. So when you say merge with the flow, when we finally merge with the flow, we can start to see the beauty in everything? Yes. Anger you will see because you see the root of it. Okay. So yes, last time I remember I told you, when you look at the leaf, hmm. you see all the cosmos in it. You see all the light in it. Even on the leaf of a tree. You see everything is beautiful out there. It has a role with it. Even the anger and the hate. Is, yes, is, even so that you won't see the, you won't see the, the, the racism. You see the beautiful in all kind of human. But of course, that would be the reference. A reference is different than racism. Mm -hmm. Right? A racism is different. When you look at people, you do bad things because they like it. No. For example, everybody equal in the, in the, in the, in the, spiritual way. Everybody beautiful in their way. They have the life. Because everybody on their journey, like you, the everyone, I like mean, we are all in the journey. Mm. Spirituality. But uh, if you enter to some different, like uh, some specific relationship, that would be the reference, of course. We are human. Mm -hmm. We are physical. Why you are still in physical body, a human right now? I wouldn't say in the next 10,000 years, we don't know. Just say that at the moment. <coughs> we all have the reference. A preference or a reference? The reference. A preference. Uh, yeah. okay. yeah, so you like it, you like that. But yeah. of course, that is your desire. Yeah, right. Yes, but it, we will keep it in check. We understand it. Okay. When you understand, we keep it in check. It's different. For example, a lot of people, they say, oh, you live a simple way. Yes, the boy more you. Because you keep it in check, so you live more simple way. But doesn't mean that you have to keep up everything. But at the moment, to keep everything is some kind of like very luxury for spirituality practices. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't. But I do encourage you to go to experience everything. But why? Why not? It's beautiful out there. And then you will experience the suffer the sorrow of it at the end because what finally you experience what the emptiness you experience the impermanent and that will stop you oh i see everything like that but if you don't go through what happened to you you're going to repeat and repeat and repeat it because you have not been satisfied It's different. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said life is very beautiful. But also be careful. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to be very careful. But if you uphold the standard, uh, I found it's very beneficial, beneficial, you know, to uphold religious standard. Not everything that we adopt. Mm -hmm. You can adopt some. 
from some of this, some of that, because I'm not asking you to adopt, to be a member of that religion. But if you want to be, you can't. Mm. So you will learn. You will learn that. So I'm not talking about accepting anything yet. Mm. That they love will later, not right now. But because you are following me as spiritual, you are, you do have, I don't, I, I'm, uh, normally in religion, there would be some figure of God, the head of God. For example, like Christian, they have Jesus as the God, like mm -hmm. for you. I'm not God. But I have to tell you something there higher. I always call cosmic parent. I don't say God, cosmic parent. That's mm -hmm. a parent. She's not woman or man. Man, that the one. So, so you were talking about the goal of spirituality is not really to eliminate desire yet. The what? The goal of spirituality is not to completely eliminate desire. Desire will always be there. It will always be there. But be now, there. I am not asking you to to, 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 to eliminate or to, 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 to keep or to give it. You still have to follow the flow of light. If it comes, you accept it. Mm -hmm. Accept that light karma. Mm -hmm. And then fulfill it and learn it. But not really, I'm not, not asking you to look for something and then, because you have not been able to control yourself, you have the flow yet. One, if you merge with the flow, you can go faster. You can take something, you can do something to experience it right now, this life. Because you know yourself, but now you don't know yet. So you just go, you, you have to go with the flow right. and uphold the standard. And then you will go through it easier. And then you will learn. You will learn at first you will pay your work karma. And then for example, you say that in the past five years you ate too much and now you gain too much weight. Yeah. And you have to work, oh my god, I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. And you determine six months to one year, that is your goal. Or rapidly your goal can be extended. Mm -hmm. And now you say I work out so much, why I don't get it? The more you get it not yet. The more you work out, you will say that the the rocky road is there. But you learn, right? Mm. And now you be careful with things. Right? So, uh, you see, that only now you only just aware of yeah, the problem. problem. Okay. Not yet solve the problem. So, you see, solving the problem is even more difficult. To pay it more difficult. So the first step is yeah, right? the first thing you have to see the problem first. Okay. Right? And you don't see, if you don't see the problem, how can? Follow in Buddhism, they said the first thing. You have to see your sorrow, your suffer. Because if you don't see you are suffer, you are sorrow, how can you remove it? Yes. You have to see it first. That's why you have to have desire first. Yes. Okay. So that's why, what? No, it's not about you, you have to have desire first. You have to see it first. Okay. You see it through and through. Okay. And then you will find a solution, is it? It doesn't mean that you have to go design something. No, no. go looking for desire. No, oh, okay. that's when you are talking different. Boy, I'm okay. not talking that one. Okay. Okay, so once you see it and then you, you see it through, is that when, at what point, if you keep doing this, eventually you will see the emptiness or the impermanence of whatever you're Yes, yes. Okay. you will see it because the everything, as I said, everything has the beginning and we have the end. And everything, because it lies everything, but through every circle of it. Mm -hmm. And you will see the end. For something, it's end fast, something end late. So, for example, like, now you see that something you go, and you're chasing something. And people chasing something for whole their life. And what they meet, they meet the end. Oh, they find, oh, I find nothing. You know, but they learn. For example, like, for people, they have they have fulfilled their, uh, they, in 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 business they call it, uh, self actualization. So the self actualization is what, it means that if you go back to the science, you will see that there are many levels, like basic needs, right? And the basic needs we would comprise of what, the food and sex and things. Mm -hmm. This is just very simple, I tell you, it's not correct. But just like something easy to, to read, and then you go to security. Security is mean that you're going to have a beautiful car, 
right? Beautiful home, mm -hmm. or you have a home. Let's say security doesn't mean you have a beautiful car. You have a car, right? Mm -hmm. You have a car, or, or depend on the person. Mm -hmm. Possible, like basic need for American, basic needs in your car, right? Mm -hmm. Basic need here, especially for Houston. For New York people, it's basic. Probably, it's not the basic need mm. because it's probably it, it's higher. Mm. But for Houston people, for Texas people, because the city itself is not because here it's rich because the location is geographic, it's different here. So Houston spread out. So that's why we need a car. We live in suburb, especially you need a car. So it's basic need, right? Mm -hmm. But if you we grow bigger, now. You go to the uh, the higher need security, so you need better car. Now you don't need a Honda, you don't need a Toyota, mm. you need a Honda Accord. You don't need a Honda City. You need a uh, you need a uh, Toyota Camry. You mm. don't need a Toyota. I don't know. I don't ride Toyota, <laughs> <laughs> but now you need. Yeah. Uh, Acura. Yeah, the higher level. Yes. Now you need the BMW. Mm. Now even your security higher. Mm. You may need the Mercedes. You you need the B the 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 drone road. But the security of each person. Okay. And then you have social class. Right. You will. Uh, they call what that. How to call that one? I don't remember. Middle income, upper class. It, it's it's kind of like yeah, it's like the 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 call. I don't remember. You have to look at the Maslow. I don't remember exactly. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, it's kind of like a social class, mm -hmm. and then you will meet certain type of the same class of your people. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Right, and then you will go higher, mm -hmm. and then the last thing is the self actualization. You want to be a managing director. You're not only a manager. You want to be director you want to be ceo you want to be chairman like for example like trump he have everything but now the only thing he want to be president of the united states so now he got that that is self-actualization of him but now you see everything empty what he got there what he got trouble I got more trouble about unhappiness. Before he used to sleep very well every day, and now he get up, he doesn't sleep very well. Probably his sexuality is not yet satisfied either. You see? So now he is yeah, meeting. Now probably he too, but he hasn't seen yet. But everything is likely probably next year after he failed. The election, mm. and we realize, oh, actually, it's nothing for him. It's trouble. He doesn't need it. Yeah. Even self actualization is the thing that the emptiness, the impermanent presidency, also for a year. The maximum is a year. Even if he won a second term, it's only a year for him. And after that, he will be remembered by history. The last day he died. He's your ex-president, like Obama, like George Bush, George W. Bush, Ruby, or Bill Clinton, or Ruby. Even you see like the rated uh, president of the, the, the United States, uh, Washington. He's your history. When he died, he wasn't president either. Mm -hmm. They had a term limit. And then you see that everything, you go there, but the self-actualization. And self-actualization at that point, you already say, oh, I don't need anything. Everything is just empty. So that's what you said. We you have desire. You should meet the expectation of the desire so that eventually you can see the emptiness. Yes. If you see, if you meet the expectation, right. and then you see the emptiness. But you have to get there. Yeah. But if you don't meet the expectation, then you just keep going back and going and back. Then, yeah, and then, then you're going back and okay, back and back and back like that. Okay. Uh, even if you don't sometimes, you know, but if uh, you have wisdom, when you go there, you get that, and then if it's bad thing, mm. and then you say, oh, there's nothing to follow. Right. For example, like, uh, uh, I would say, like, um, you want something, and you never get it. 
Mm. Right? But with your wisdom, you think, oh, you know, you don't have desire that much. You think, you just think you are a simple person. You just need, okay, I have a call. That's enough for me. But this also is just because your level is that. You understand? Because your level is just that. Because you, even you desire more than that, you don't get it. But you know how to satisfy yourself. And now you are still helping. But if you have more ability, probably your desire higher, your your enlightenment will be higher. Okay. You understand that? So it depends because our human life is so beautiful, it's so colorful. So you see our kind of life is different, mm -hmm. not the same. Can you briefly go into more details about what you when you said that um if we don't get something, if we have enough wisdom, we can still satisfy our, we can still be satisfied, but that's still a little bit low, lower level. Low level. The, the, what's the, the, what's the higher level when you, you don't get what you want, or you can't get what you want? How is, how is that a little, how is that a little bit higher level of wisdom? Probably, for example, like, um, uh, depend. Okay. Also, it depends on your ability. Yes. Because you you don't have the ability to reach that level, it seems like a glass ceiling for you. Mm. Probably, uh, if the glass ceiling, it means that you see it. Right. But something you don't see it. For uh, let's just say very simple, uh, with the uh, business world, we we often talk about the need and the want, right? So, uh, which one bigger? The need and the want. Probably the need. The want. Oh, the want. We will want everything. Okay. <laughs> but we need it. No, we don't need it. Okay. You need a, uh, you want a rondo. If uh, you ask me if I want a rondo, I would say yes. But you don't need it. But I don't need it. Uh, okay. I don't need it also because I don't have money to buy it. Right. But. I would consider if I won a lottery mm. or I would consider if I have a business in the future and then I got it big. For example, like uh, uh, you see the, the, the guy, the, uh, for let's say Trump, he, when he many years ago, he wouldn't have a run run. 30 years ago, he wouldn't have it. 40 years ago, he, he's still a young guy. Mm. All the money can belong to his father. He has some. But now, later on, he has one. He has two, he has three, even he has the first car, you see? Depend on that, your ability that you have it. So, uh, of course, you know, like people always desire for one, but you need it, what you need it, but you know what you need it. And then you satisfy with it. So it already helped you to reduce the suffering. Okay. Right? But I would say your knowledge is still not yet much. For example, for me, I ride a BMW. Mm. I never ride a runway. I never experienced it. Mm -hmm. But really, I need it? No, I don't need it. In the, in the, in the simple human, Experience, I don't know it, but really spirituality for me, do I want it? I don't want it either. I don't want it. Okay. And so that's why we call when spirituality, you see everything. You in there, that situation, you happy with yourself. You see what you need and what you want. Okay. So why I want, why I, what I, why I bought my Acura at first? Because I consider about the safety and also the cost associate it's not much different than the Toyota Camry but the safety everything was better so I bought that and then I bought a BMW why I bought it because I consider the the the, the quality of German car right everybody knows is the how the steel of BMW is so good mm -hmm. And also, we got it a electric car, it saved the energy, and things like that, and I bought it. And also, you see, that is the difference, because the level. So, you see that we have to depend on, because that's my ability to buy it. I see. So, that's what I bought. 
But if you go back to some different country, let's say Vietnam, yeah. owning a car is no longer a basic need. It's a social class. I'm not talking about BMW or SEDs. It's you in self actualization. So you see that? A different level. The level in America is different. Ah, I see. You see that? So based on your level of or, or, or want or oh, yeah. need can dictate where sort of where you're at spiritually. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Uh, okay. But uh, that is just some kind of uh, satisfaction in the very very simple way simple. we think. But spirituality is is, is much further than that. But I just give you only some of the so, so things. Sort of I think that the people understand that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a change in topic. Um, you, you you talk in the past about how superstition um, is very good for beginners in trying to go into spiritual path because it helps build faith. Yes. So eventually, it, once we. Um, get high enough in spirituality. We don't. We're not really. We're no longer superstitious anymore. Is that correct? It's some way like that. Okay. Because I would say that you know before people understand about karma, mm -hmm. people under you know see about bad behavior. Mm -hmm. They they are not able to recognize between good and bad. And uh, also people seem like, you know, like uh, uh, seeing things, not science. We were talking about science, a lot of science. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, also a bit about the knowledge, with about education. Mm -hmm. I have told you about education, knowledge, those things, all external, it's all bottom, but it's really important. Mm -hmm. Especially in the society, our human dignity. Not everybody have the same education. Even you go to the high school, you just gain the minimum human education. That the high school, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go to bachelor, or you go to associate, and then associate uh, for two years, and then you go to bachelor for another two years, four years, and master another two years, six years, and then the PhD four years, and then. Even higher than PhD, and you know, like research thing, thing like that. It's all about that. But we are talking about the superstitious mm. thing. Like people seem to believe in something, right? It's something. But if you don't do something, for example, if Jesus didn't walk on the water, mm -hmm. would you think that is going to be Christian today? People believe him because people that time they have. You just imagine 2,500 years ago. That work. 2,000 years ago is quite long. So, not talking about the Buddha time, even longer than that 2,500 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So, superstition. Probably, I don't want to offend the Christian city mm -hmm. <laughs> about the Jesus. <laughs> you can walk on the water or not walk in the water. Mm. But because he walked in the water, he created okay. the whole Christianity nowadays. And now, because people understand that, you can walk on the water. So if you can walk on the water, it means you are different. And then, because not only because the Jesus walked on the water, but because he brings the goodness to people. He teach people, he taught people to do good things, to love one another, to make peace, to take him in by heart, like taking, by taking a poor people, in, like taking him. He teach people to go advance spirituality, to confess themselves, to lighten their karma, don't do bad thing again. Many things like that. So in order to do that, in order to bring that goodness, did, did he first have to build faith with the people who see him? Yes. Is that why he had to walk on water? So that they have faith in him? So faith is very important. Then okay. they create faith. 
because it's good thing right good thing so faith is mean you have faith in them you you very believe in them thing like that you believe they are supernatural they are, you are super then you and they bring you better they bring you enlightenment to a higher yes well, then you you are a buddhist you 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 have faith in the buddha when you are christian you have faith in jesus in god when you are muslim you also have faith in uh, muhammad or in some kind of god you like that everybody have a faith in the leader mm -hmm. so probably because 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 human education human knowledge experience is still limited in terms of science and also in spiritually in science only limit in spiritually even more limited you know people always talk about but it's about religion so religion is very important so that's why they read a lot of things story for example like when you go into buddhist you know a lot of uh, people listen, you know, talking about people flying and different things, you know, in, 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 in the Buddhism. So uh, I wouldn't reject it. Because it's not probably for me, not for you, but it's for other people with lower education. So give them uh, some kind of, of symbol, instruction. You do that and then you get it. You know, you do good, you will get good things. But sometimes you tell them uh, so uh, not beautiful, you tell them directly, they don't do it. You need to tell them more colorful, you add in that thing, beautiful story. It's kind of more supernatural, like superstitious. Okay. But superstitious here also because a lot of people are talking, thinking about, uh, you know, like uh, not religious, it's all. Uh -huh. For example, like uh, going to become a, a Buddhist doesn't mean it, it, it's, it's a, a superstitious. It's not. Mm. It's not about going, you know, to, to burn uh, some kind of incense and also kind of like, you know, in the day of the, like that, uh, you have to burn a lot of paper and the money. That is superstitious. But in superstition, that teach people what their the the mind teach them all oh, is the time to share and to to practice compassion to understand about their parent oh that the pass away teacher pass away loved one so they do something in the ceremony in the anniversary of the thing like that or uh, you know like uh, they offer something to God thing like that so it's a form of teaching actually. yeah it's a kind of teaching of basic uh, okay. spirituality you know like you now you learn you are committing to helping other people things like that but later on when you go you go higher and higher and then you will see that actually it's not bad for the, the thing because everything is different for example candy is for children yes right. but you can have word candy which is when you grow up you don't eat candy, candy. right right okay. yeah but this candy doesn't doesn't mean it's, it, it's bad no? it's bad for adult right. especially you get diabetes don't pick candy, candy. <laughs> okay so now, since you talk about how superstition leads to faith, or how can foster faith, is there different levels of faith? Then? Yes. Is there low-level faith and very high-level faith? Yes. What's the difference between low, mid-level, and high-level faith? Oh, the higher. So you see that the faith, because people depend how much, how much you uh, depend on people. You know, like superstition. Let's say in 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 the uh, in Vietnam and in Thailand, you see the faith. Mm -hmm. of uh, Buddhist is different, very different. Um, also, like, the world got a culture also. Uh, Vietnam uh, having like, uh, like I think half half like Christian and half Buddhist, you know, Buddhist. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's why the, the respect uh, in Vietnam for the, for the Vietnamese Buddhist uh, or the Chinese Buddhist uh, are very different than the respect or from the Thai people to monks. Uh, let's say, like when you go to a temple in uh, in Vietnam or in Chinese temple, here you see, and you can touch, you can socialize with the the monk very much, thing like that. And because because the uh, the Buddhism in in that uh, different, right? And then you go to Thailand, you're not going to touch the monk. <laughs> the monk is kind of like you put higher, higher. Because the monk represents 
uh, represent for the Buddha. He is not a Buddha, but he represent for the image. So probably you go, especially you are a woman, you never support touch them. Only men can touch them, but you are not going to touch them. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next time you can't touch. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, you need to get respect. Some kind of so the faith, the faith uh, of high people with the Buddhism probably higher, higher, higher than those other. I think. But probably it doesn't mean that in the, it means the faith in Buddhism is lower. Right? It depends on the culture practices. So, but the uh, depend. Uh, on practice because it's only uh, very surface because the 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 faith also it should associate with wisdom not only uh, you know like um, a lot of faith faith not only in the religion for instance now today you see a lot of people have faith in trump and they worship him right yeah. right so so i don't know what what they learn from him but you see you see that you the faith also associate need to associate with uh, wisdom. wisdom. But now I'm not talking about policy, I'm talking about spirituality. And the faith in the teacher, probably you need to have because if you don't have faith in the teacher, it's difficult for you to practice. Because we are practicing, we are teaching you to practice the uh, selfish, right? And you have to give up a lot of Things you think you want. Yeah, the ego and things like that. And you have to uphold the teacher up the road, up the mirror to go there. And no matter he teach you, you think that's good for you. You must have that thing. Even though when after you realize yourself, the relationship of you and your teacher no longer like faith, but it becomes spiritual, sacredness, respect. Not faith, not to belief, because faith is more like belief. It's low level faith. Yes. Okay. Because the faith is kind of like the belief. Mm -hmm. No matter how much you believe, how much high your faith is, it's still a belief. Belief is still a low one. This means still external thing. You believe in something, and one day you don't believe. Right. So what? What you remember? What I told you about? What you asked me about? If I believe in Jesus, the Buddha or not? No. I don't. Yes. Yes, I know. I don't believe. Because I know them. I spiritual merge with them. I met them. So why I have to believe? I don't have belief. Believe for you. Alright, so I see you. So is the low level faith there is still doubt? The high level faith, the doubt is almost gone. There is no more doubt at that point. No. Not, not really like that. Even okay. the high-head faith, you still have doubt in you it. You still have doubt. Okay. Because it's still low. Okay. But it's important to have it. Because now you don't re you don't recognize, you have you don't realize yourself. You haven't, okay. So now, uh, uh, unless, until you merge with the your flow, flow. Okay. you realize who you are. And then, you will see everything different. Because you see, when you see, you experience, you, you know, see different, you know. you know that different. And now, absolutely, even now you have the high head feed, it's still the external, but it's important, it's important. to have it. Okay. Because if you don't have it, and then you won't do it. You, you, don't, you don't follow. You don't trust your teacher. Yeah, you don't trust your teacher, or you don't even trust yourself. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's because you teach you something, and you don't think, and you think, because you don't have faith, and then you think, you start to think, oh, they manipulate you, oh, you or think. they use you, or maybe they are crazy, or yeah. maybe something like that, you know. And because I tell you, you must have, because later on, you will see, you will doubt even your teacher. You will even, you doubt God. You doubt Buddha. You see? You will experience because you have not been able to reach that level yet. In meditation, while you... And then, because you must have it. I have to want absolute faith in that. Because if you don't have, it's going to kill you. Very dangerous. Yes. So that's why now I don't teach people. I can tell people, you can, if I don't know you very well, I can teach you right away. The way to activate your chakra and things like that. Because I know you won't know it. Because it's not easy. 
I didn't tell you. But now I don't tell you yet because you are on the path. So you have to go step by step. Because you would go, you, because I think you will achieve that. So you have to go. If you want to go, you have to have absolute faith. So faith with is your, important. With your teacher. And then it depends. Depend on, 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 on which state you are in. Even the highest faith has doubt. So it's, at a certain point, there's really no more, you, you transcend faith, right? You, you don't need faith anymore. After you reach oh, that's, certain... that to be the, the final state. When you the able to, 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 to uh, merge the yourself, flow. you realize yourself, you merge to the flow. You don't need faith anymore. Uh, there is not because you don't need faith anymore, but the f the the faith it transform. Oh, to a different. Transform higher. to different higher spiritual uh, okay. experience that mm -hmm. you know already why you need faith. For example, if you uh, you ask me, uh, if you exit, are you accepted? You in front of me while you ask me, I believe you are here. That's crazy if I say I don't believe or not. I believe or not, right? Mm -hmm. I guess we can talk about simply shortly about meditation when, for beginners. So they, a lot of them talk about how they have to push their body to the extreme. Like sit yes. in, like sit full lotus or some people sit on like beds of nails or on yes. hot tour coil. Yes. Is that really spiritual practice? Yes, that's the way, you know, I wouldn't uh, uh, reject it either. Okay. Yes, you can go with that extreme. Like, for example, like, um, I think um, this morning, I had in meditation, I, I saw the Buddha in the state of skinny. The last little day, like, he was skinny, extremely skinny. Mm. Of, of course, it's the image. Images, it's just the images properly come from somewhere, <laughs> and I saw that he went to extremes. He went to extreme of the practices because he had achieved many state of meditation already, and then he too was not satisfied with it because he I thought he wasn't merged with it for yet. I believe that. That I believe. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> I'm not the Buddha at that time. So I just believe. There's some time believe. <laughs> so um, let's say that I, I, I think like that. I think that time he, he has achieved many, many states of uh, meditation and things like that, but uh, he, 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 he did not merge. So one, you know, like he, that time, and then recently he, he stopped. Because he, he already satisfied everything. He's in the all now. The extreme meat, they go to like you, you, you exhaust all your body, thing like that. Mm -hmm. What you achieve? Nothing. Like just, we just talk about mm -hmm. the self actualization. He, mm -hmm. he actually not about self actualization, but he go into the extreme. Of meditation, everything. And then, then he didn't find everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then he come back. You see that? That, 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 the, the extreme. So, probably, you know, you can go with the extreme. And then you will find what you learn, the emptiness. And then, because people, before the Buddha, nobody talk about the emptiness. Nobody talk about the impermanent. And now he found out, all oh, I thought it's the empty, nothing. Now he found it, the impermanent, nothing. When you go there, you're gone, nothing, nothing there. And now he start to go back to drink milk. To enjoy life, mm. drink water, to eat, to support, because he realized that his body is the vessel that bring him experience everything. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. So that's why it's uh, uh, extreme, you know, you can go to extreme if you want to, and then you will experience what the final of the extreme. The but you get it. Something, probably you get something. But finally, you get something. You will experience yourself. So just go. If you want to go, you just go. Mm -hmm. But don't go too much. Because I would say, if you talk about life, now you have one life. If you want to achieve in this life, short, you know, many things in the fast periods of time, 
Brother, you don't have to. Brother, you don't have to. For me, I think if you want to realize yourself, you don't have to go to the forest to find the end. You can't go there because you would experience things different. Brother, you would experience the extreme of the forest. The, the, the cold at night and the hot in the day, the mosquito, the, the, the hunger. A lot of things you have to control. Probably you experience the, the body, physical body, go to experience at each stage. For example, like when you meditate and you sit on the lotus position, now you experience the pain. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. The, the pain. So now you just go through it. You feel the pain that come from there and there. But it's really, really, it's just external. It's just the body reaction. Mm. Right? You learn from that. Uh, so with the wisdom, I, I I told you, I taught you to just keep comfortable. Doesn't mean that you lack anything because okay. you have not reached uh, the, the, the the advanced level okay. yet that you can do anything you like. Uh, but uh, it's easy for you. For example, like I I taught you how to sit a little bit comfortable, and you can sit longer, mm -hmm. and you keep the mind and deep deep, deep uh, with the breath. And probably if you cannot keep the breath, you can count. The breath, the thing like that, to keep you concentrate, concentrate the point, and then later on, if you settle, I would teach you some way to continue to monitor the the thought. You can monitor the thought, selective monitor. You can select some of the thought come in, and then you think about it through and through. First, I give you a topic, and then you think about that topic, you concentrate on that topic, and you go further. You go see the truth, like I told you want to see about a cup. Mm. You see fire, you see everything, the story, you see air in that. Without the, 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 the air, can you burn it? No, you don't burn it, right? You need the air, you need the five factor, what we call, what we call, how many factor have? Soil, air, fire, and? Earth. Yeah, soil is the earth. Water. Right? Water, yeah, you see everything there, mm. you see the four factor and combine with your mind, mm. it's the fifth thing. Right, and then then you see that you see everything true and true. You see the root of it. Mm. So when you see the root of it, you see that there's nothing, right? And then you don't have to. It. You see everything, and then you can remove your desire because you feel that it's not good to desire that, desire that. So this, at least I just ask you to do that. And you just do that. You just remove your anger, your 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 desire. You you have to practice your patience. You have to practice. Uh, uh, to remove your ego and practice compassion and love and understanding and things like that come and now you know you need to practice the calm of mind well that's all the questions I have yeah that's good that's very very interesting that you uh, you, you you should have your practice now uh, at any level uh, of the spiritual Meditation is very good thing because it helps you to calm mind. Uh, now uh, you are practicing uh, the meditation. I call it like quiet meditation because it's very quiet in mind like that. Uh, after this level, I will teach you more about moving meditation. But first, before you move, you have to, you have to get used to with the quiet meditation first because there will be a lot of uh, experience. Uh, you have to develop some kind of experience of mindfulness, your mind. And uh, for example, like calm, you have to easy for you to concentrate. And then when the thought come in, you have to be able to stop it. Stop the mind coming in, the thought coming in. And uh, also uh, be selective thought. And then you, 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 because you choose one of the top, a topic like that, and then you think through and through deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. So that's why, uh, also later on, you have to learn some kind of quiet, and then you can go through, even you listen to your heart, things like that. You see, that's very important. Meditation is the long, 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 deep way. So I wouldn't say people said, oh, I have to do 10 years, five years. That's just. Basic right. The only thing, the last thing, uh, all spirituality, I, I said, you have to merge with, with your flow. Add me the flow later. 
because is that the beginning or is that the end? When once you merge, nothing at the end. Ah, there's just but it more. the but it it the end of ignorance and it the beginning of enlightenment. So it's a milestone. It's a milestone. Yes, it's, it's a milestone. fast thing. It's a very good start. Yeah, so the the flow because even in the flow it's different either. Okay. The flow there will be a lot the flow different. It's it's it will be the root flow and then you have to let the life flow. So the flow is just like the light thing like that. Oh, I I wouldn't. I wouldn't want this whole yeah, yeah, It's too much for I, you. I, I, I okay. okay. So uh, just keep continue with uh, reading the uh, journey to the east. And the uh, and then the the uh, Chuan. Yeah. So you 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 should continue with that, and uh, to learn to update your uh, your knowledge, and then doesn't mean I just want you have general knowledge first. Okay. Yes. And then later on you you have to throw it away. If you. You, but I have to acquire it first. I have to get yeah, it first. <laughs> just, but you don't have those things. It's difficult yeah. for you to go through because I'm repairing for you to to cope up with all the situation later on. Or because later on in the future, you know, you, you have to understand love and compassion and everything. And then the, uh, you will live as yourself. It's not God. You're not crazy, evil, or thing like that. Mm -hmm. Not the magician. Mm -hmm. Thing like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just keep continuing, okay? Okay. Yeah.